All right, Wolf Pack, happy Friday. We are here. Um, is this the last Friday of the year? No, I think we've got one more Friday at the end of the year. All right, almost the final Friday at the end of the year. Um, reminder, uh, Saturday, as you can see, um, 9 a.m. and 7.30 a.m. class for our 12 days of Christmas. I actually just finished the wad. So if you'd like to see what it is, comment in the uh, comment section below. We'll see how many people are excited to see it. And uh, if you guys, uh, if your excitement entices me, uh, then I will post it ahead of time. Otherwise, it'll get posted out tomorrow uh, night like normal for Saturday. Uh, if you haven't done the 12 Days of Christmas, it's really, really fun. Uh, it goes to the tune of the song. So there's 12 movements. Each number represents the rep. And then you work down it and then all the way through the workout. So... You start at 1, and then you go 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, all the way from 12, 11, 10. So it's a very awesome workout. So you guys should definitely swing by um, and check it out if you can. So Friday is really a tough day to program just because there's literally 12 different CrossFit movements. It's completely total body. It's very, very uh, tough um, and intense on the body. So I try to just piece together some cyclical stuff to obviously keep some, some strain off the body and then a couple movements that I don't see as the most – uh, globally or nervous system fatiguing uh, movements that we have in CrossFit. Try to save you guys a little bit. Oh, my mic isn't moving. Try to save you guys a little bit for um, Saturday. So it's with a partner. Uh, it's a 15 minute AMRAP. You get a three minute rest, and it's another 15 minute AMRAP. And you're going to buy in with calories on the machine. So first one starts with the rower. Um, the second one is going to start with the skier. So most likely for the bigger classes, right? We're going to start uh, five teams, so 10 people on the row section. 10 people on the skier section, we'll do them and then we'll flip flop and that'll that'll work out the best. Um, so you've got to buy in with the row, 100 uh, cows for the males, 80 for the female teams, co-ed will do 90. We're looking at for somewhere around a five or so minute row. Um, that way when we hop off, we've got 100 bench press reps. Um, choosing a weight, we can do a minimum of 10 at to start. And then obviously once the fatigue sets in, whatever happens, happens, but uh, I assume Getting to about 50 is going to be pretty good and quick for most people. And then the final 50 obviously take a little bit longer. You need longer breaks because your chest is pumped up. So um, realistically, you're probably going to get this done in, you know, if you're doing 20 a minute, it's going to be about five minutes. But I anticipate it probably being a little bit quicker. So teams will probably be between three and five minutes. Um, this is going to leave you in this 15-minute interval, right? Five minutes, call it four minutes even. It's going to leave you six minutes to finish with calories on the rower with the remaining time so your overall goal of this would be complete the row complete the bench press and then get more calories here uh than you did in the beginning um buy-in right so male male teams are looking for more than 100 ladies ladies are looking for more than 80 yada yada, yada. okay rest three minutes then we'll do the exact same thing um i think this one's probably going to be a little bit more challenging the skier obviously you're coming into it with right chest uh, and pull fatigue right press and pull fatigue and you have a lot of uh tricep and shoulder work on the skier and then you've got kettlebell swings which is a pull so i, I think this is going to be a little bit harder um it's gonna take a little bit longer so you're probably gonna have a little bit less time on the skier but that's okay um for this this piece so again somewhere hopefully around five minutes maybe a little bit over 100 kettlebell swings is a lot longer of a movement right bench press is just down up down up kettlebell swing is all the way down all the way up so your bench press reps are one to two seconds per rep. Your kettlebell swings are a two to three seconds per rep, so almost double the time. So I anticipate this. Again, if you're doing you know, uh, 20 to 25 a minute, it's going to be at least four to five minutes, but I, I think it's going to be probably closer to five minutes. Um, or this is going to be right five, five and a half. This is going to be four, four and a half. So we're going to be close to nine and a half to ten minutes on this. And then you got about five minutes on the skier here. So again, Best goal would be to try to get here this much time and then try to get more calories than here. But this one's going to be a little bit more challenging. So um, choose a kettlebell weight. Obviously, that's very movable for you since you are coming into it with a lot of fatigue. We should be able to do a, a minimum of 10 uh, before switching. But realistically, your first couple sets maybe should be a little bit bigger, 15 to 20, and then kind of chip away from there. So um, you guys can obviously pick and choose the bench weights. It's, it's really hard to program bench because... Um, everybody's so all over the board um, on their maxes or even if they have a high max if their bench endurance is not as high so it's a tough one to program so I kind of just threw some random numbers out here but feel free to go up or down um, and choose your weights appropriately for you so you get the right stimulus but that's gonna be a fun little Friday nice little pump before the weekend and then the Saturday uh, 12 days of Christmas so comment below if you want to see it if not we'll see you in the gym Friday and then Saturday see you for the 12 days of Christmas later